Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome to the eighth installment of Luke's Point of View series. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I did a poll yesterday on whether you want me to continue or not because it could get a little repetitive, but if it seems like you're just like me and you'd love for me to continue this, so I'm all for it. So let's get to it. Today, we're going to be covering Luke's point of view on Jedi Master Ki Adi Mundi. Now, Ki Adi Mundi was a very special Jedi. Of course, he died in Order 66, but he had a lot of other special attributes to him. He was a Syrian Jedi, and he was a member of the Jedi Council when Qui-Gon Jinn arrived at the Jedi Temple with a very strange story. He had fought a Force-using warrior on Tatooine. Ki Adi Mundi doubted Qui-Gon's contention that the Sith had survived, and now threatened the Jedi again. During the Clone Wars, Ki Adi Mundi was one of many Jedi to serve the Republic as a general leading clone troops against the separate destroyed armies. Among other campaigns, he fought in the first and second battles of Genosis and the Outer Rim sieges. Despite his years of training as a Jedi, Ki Adi Mundi was caught by surprise when Supreme Chancellor Palpatine issued Order 66 to the clone troopers under his command. He turned in disbelief as the troops he served with turned their weapons on him, firing the shots that ended his life. Now, I've done many other videos on Ki Adi Mundi, however, the latest one is one that is canon and you guys are going to find pretty interesting. It's that, if you haven't seen it, his lightsaber ends up seen by the First Order in Doc Ondar's possession. I have a theory that, hey, we could see it in Episode 9, which would be really cool. So, what did Luke think about our Syrian Jedi Master? Well, he says, When Jedi Masters needed advice, they often sought out this wise Syrian who sat on the Jedi High Council. His logical way of thinking made him an excellent strategist, a trait master Mundi employed on the front lines of the Clone Wars. Sadly, Mundi's strict adherence to logic often betrayed his ability to react to improbable developments, such as the return of the Sith. Even his powerful binary brain, which means that he has two brains, could never have predicted his own clone troopers turning against him on Maigito following the execution of Order 66. So this is what Jedi Master Luke Skywalker has to say about our favorite Syrian Jedi, Ki Adi Mundi himself. It's really cool that he knows who he is and actually talks about him. So I can't wait to cover the book in further detail in November once it comes out. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day or night. And please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and you want me to continue on the next Jedi Master that Luke talks about. Until the next one, remember, the Force will be with you, always. Now, fulfill.